Hello YouTube and welcome to Fix It Sam channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cotton candy machine. So let's get started. For this project we need two salad balls like this so they can go into each other like this. We're going to need a torch, a drill, a 9 volt motor like this one and a chuck set like this that fits in here and you lock it with two screws at the same time you can you have this one to secure over it and we're gonna need two washers like this a 9 volt battery a cutter scissors 9 volt connection like this one on off switch two kinds of soda and one soldering gun so to go back to the chuck set I got that one from Amazon so you can see it that's the size and the last thing we need is a pen like this one so let's get started okay guys so as you see I got the uh, large mixing bowl over here and I got the small one and what I've done here I've put the velcro on both sides like this and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put them on top of each other and this will create my base like this okay and by doing this all the component the motor and the switch and the battery they will be over here so now the next step is to drill a hole so we can pass the motor like this inside okay guys all what's left to do all what's left to do is to install the motor over here and the battery and the on off switch And now it's time to make a hole for our on off switch over here. And we're gonna make sure that it goes through. There you go. That's perfect. First, we're gonna connect the black wire. Now we're going to connect the red wire to the on-off switch. And now the red wire that comes from the 9 volt connection, we're going to connect it right here. There we go. Now that my connection is ready, it's time to install the motor in its place. We're gonna start by putting the motor like this. After we're gonna secure it properly. Now we're going to install the switch. There you go. And what I've done over here, I have a small piece of Velcro that it sticks on this side, on the other side. I'm going to put on the battery like this. So I would be able to change the battery anytime I want and it will not move so there you go now the switch is working and let's go for the next step I'm gonna mark I'm gonna use a marker and I'm gonna use the candle to 
mark wherever I'm gonna cut as you see we're gonna do the same thing for the second can there you go and now we're gonna use a cutter and we're gonna cut like this There you go. Okay guys, so now we're gonna take one of the sides that we cut and we're gonna force it on in the bottom of this can. And by doing so, we are enlarging this side of the can so this one could fit in it, like this. There you go. And now it's time to make the holes. Okay, the size of the drill bit, make sure that our washer over here fits exactly in it. Alright, so now we're going to make the hole. Very important to aim in the middle. And when you use the drill, don't force too much. Just slowly, slowly. And by doing so, we're going to make sure that the chuck set will fit like this so basically this is how it's gonna be we're gonna put the washer in the bottom washer on top like this and then we're gonna secure it with this one here so now it's time to make the big hole over here. So I will be using this circular saw like this that fits almost exactly inside the circle here. And now we're gonna aim for the center again and we're gonna go slowly slowly There you go, that's how it's supposed to look like. That's why you should go slowly, slowly, so you would not bend the circle. It's very important not to bend it or damage it. Now that we've made both holes, we're gonna make them fit into each other like this, and we're gonna push gently till they get into each other to the maximum position possible. And now the next step is to make holes all around the circle, the top circle over here. Okay guys, so that's how it's supposed to look like. Okay guys, now after installing on the chuck set over here, as you see, I'm going to turn on the motor. Then I'm going to turn on the fire.
So there you go guys. This is the results. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Fix It Samuel One Word. And we will see you next time.